Yo, this would be another great question for someone to like, someone like Abbott or Ari or somebody like that to ask Harry. I don't know if I'm gonna post the last video I made or not. I might, uh, but I was this, the theme of it was like awesome questions to ask people. It's like a com, it's a comedy bit. It's comedy. This is comedy entertainment purposes only. Just dealing with real names. Well, I guess these could be fictitious names too. Who could say for sure? You know, really? You know, who could say for sure? But what I'm saying is the person that's broadcasting right now is that this is, this is all comedy, you know? So anyone that would try to take this too seriously is just like a d fucking douchebag, which has always been true throughout time. You know who you are. You know who I'm talking about. So there's a great question for Harry from Abbott or Ari would be like, so you told my dad when he called you when um, the day that mom kidnapped us, dad called you and you told him in the face of what the heck's going on, you told them you might be faking it. What? You might be faking it, Rye. So the question would be, what, what, what was it that, uh, when you said that to my dad, you might be faking it, like what was it that you think he, he would be faking? What was it that he might, what, what, what could he possibly be faking? And don't you owe it to him to like go, go like talk to him face to face? If you think that there's something that he might be faking, don't you owe it to him to go talk to him face to face? Is there any chance that you were wrong when you said you might be faking it? Is there any chance that actually Bree and you were completely faking it? And when I say it, I mean, uh, being a sane, reasonable, non-malicious person. Harry and Bree both present socially very gregariously like they're everybody's best friend. But oh, look what they do when you're like really close with them. You might be faking it. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. So we're gonna fucking kill you and rip your kids away because you might be faking it. You know, you don't get to decide that. That's where you fucked up. You don't get to decide that. You might be, so we're gonna take you out. And we're going on Bree's word after dealing with a breakup with you for just a few weeks. And we all know Bree's super trustworthy every step of the way, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, Corey, yeah, Bree tells you a story. It must be true, right? Bree's never been known to be completely full of shit ever, has she? Has Bree ever fucked up? Has Bree ever uh, been totally, completely full of shit? Has Bree ever, uh... Been a liar? Has Bree ever been known to be a liar before? Why would you trust her, someone now about such a huge thing without going to find out for yourself, especially someone who maybe isn't the most trustworthy person? Abbott and Ari can say what to happen to Harry and Anne. Don't you think in a lot of ways my dad is way more trustworthy than my mom? That question would would end their ego's existence. How would they even, they couldn't even face it. They wouldn't even be able to face that. Like, a, you know, it's gotta be a real question coming from a real inquiry, a real curiosity. It's like, hey, you did this to my dad and to us based on my mom's word, but isn't my mom like, not the most trustworthy person, Harry and Anne? Like, you guys know, like, you, you, it looks like you guys just did the thing where, cause you're like family. But wait, at the wedding, doesn't, isn't, isn't Harry, he, he gives away Bree to Ryan. And that means he's supposed to be the fuck out of my business. Oh, but then he decides to make my business his business without consulting me about it. And when he does have me face to face, he tells me that Bree's full of shit and overreacts. So it keeps coming back to the same place. It's that conversation right there. Harry decides to go with the we'll kill Ryan off and lie to the kids about it because we'll ju we're banking on that the truth will never surface, that we'll die. or That's really what it is. We'll kick Ryan off the hell off, try to do a life without him. That was his life. Lie to the kids about it every step of the way and blame him. And and, and that's all based on that then like, and then uh, well, when, when we die, 
will have, phew, no one would have ever found out the truth. <laughs> That's not the best position to be in there, Smiths, is, uh, you know, kind of hoping that you'll die before you see me again. Because that's how you would feel after you did so, what you did to me and what you did to Abbott, what you did to Ari, what you did to my parents, my, you know, my, like all the people who would have, could have been enjoying Abbott and influencing Abbott and Ari and being in their lives like they should have been. You stole their childhood away from them and you stole that childhood and all of that away from me. And really, you stole it away from yourselves, too, because whatever you're sitting in now, the morass of bullshit that you guys must be sitting in now with fucking smiley-ass Tom around or whatever, trying to pretend, like, and he doesn't even know any of that back. That's the best part for me. So I know that your whole thing rests on Tom not knowing any of the truth of any of this stuff. And that's how he can be, oh, Bree's actually part of my family. We're just dragging the Smiths along, and as long as we all kind of get along... And don't talk about Ryan and ignore Abbott and Ari's real heart and soul. Yeah. It's a good video. Feels good. Feels right. Feels true. And it's funny, right? Remember the com comedy purposes. <laughs> okay, bye.